How's a project car fit in your life? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm getting into a crunch, if that makes any sense. I have this MGA that's not done. It's a lot closer than this 57. 57 I own, that's my car, my project. Somebody else owns this project. It's kind of his project, but it's my project to get done. It's almost impossible to do both of these at the same time in this limited amount of space. Limited amount of time. Money's not the thing because I don't pay for parts for this. I do pay for parts for that. So I need to prioritize. I need to get down and buckle down and figure out what I've got to do first in the order that I need to do them. Ish. This car obviously is taking a lot longer than Ralph and I had planned. He's the owner. But it is what it is. We want it to be nice. We want it to be done right. And it takes a lot of time. A lot of details. A lot, lot, just a lot of stuff. This I had started before this. But it's not going anywhere. I'm swinging around axles and doing bodies and moving around with this car sitting right next to it. Uh, so I need to prioritize. And it starts at the beginning, really. You folks, you're going to get a project car or, or, or you got one. You got to prioritize stuff. Where does it fit in your life? You have a spot in the yard you're going to work on it. Two car garage, a shed, a barn shop, shop barn like I got. You got to think about those things. The worst time in a car's life, its very least value is when it's blown apart in a million pieces. Okay? That's the scary part. I suggest, this is how I did this car. We got this car that way in a million pieces. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Especially if it's your first project, don't do that. Just don't. Just don't. Because inevitably, what will happen, you'll have a two-car garage, say, that might be your case. It was my case at one point. And you blow it all apart. It takes up all this room. It takes up ten times the room it did, as it did in one piece. And the wife can't park in the garage in this wintertime. What happens? You're not going to get it done in a timely manner. She's going to be mad at you. You can't, you can't live life that way. <laughs> or your husband, whatever the case is. So, it ends up being a big pain in your butt just to look at it every day, and you sell it. To a guy like me, or somebody else that looks out for people like that and get a heck of a deal on a car, and they know how to put it back together. Don't buy one that way, though. Don't, no, no, mm -mm. You taking it apart and putting it back together is one thing. It's hard for me to take this apart and find all the parts that I stored and squirreled away and new parts I have, and it's, 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 it's tough, especially if you don't take it apart. You don't know what you have. I've had lots of questions about projects like that. Is this, what do you think of this project? Mike, go, you know, look at these pictures, look at this ad. Man, I don't know. I, you know, and the thing is, is I don't know the people who are asking that question uh, enough to give them a valid answer. You got to learn that for yourself. If you have a significant other, they have got to support you in it. Now, my wife, she doesn't quite understand. She knows it's my gig. It's my deal. It's what I do. I started the YouTube thing. Well, I make a couple bucks a month. Now she's kind of impressed. She's like, oh, you go make videos, boy. But time away from the family, time away from the wife or your husband and your job. I work a lot of times six days a week. I work really hard during the day working on cars. Am I really going to spend as much time as I think on this project that I'm going to buy? 
or this project car I've got when I'm gonna start on it what, what do I do you got to plan ahead you gotta set yourself up for success don't set yourself up to fail and it's okay while you're saving up your money like I am hold on just a second all right sorry about that as I was saying kids family <laughs> they come first they they just do whether you like it or not they do so keep things doable for yourself understand the space you have understand the time you have and understand the money you have and then use the 30 percent rule it's going to take 30 percent longer than you think it's going to it's going to cost 30 percent more money than you plan on it costing and you're going to have 30 percent less space than you believe you have so now i'm in a jam we're going to buckle down and get this car done it's the right thing to do it's not like ralph's really a paying customer but he's a good friend of mine i think a lot of him and it's important to me that he enjoys this car I have plenty of time to enjoy this car. I'll have more space to do what I want to it once this is out of the way. <laughs> so, it's stuff like that. You've got to prioritize things in your life. Whether it's this car, whether it's a go-kart, whether it's a plastic model you're building on the kitchen table. You've got to, you've, you've got to do that. You've got to set yourself up to win. That's why we do this and have fun. It can't be stressful. Don't max your credit card out buying a bunch of parts for something like this to have it all set in the corner for three years because you can't find time to do it. Because when you, a couple years later, find out, oh, this parts package, this thing I bought, half the parts are missing. You can't do nothing about it. This transmission I bought, now it's ruined from setting forever or there's something wrong with it when brand new. You, you, you can't just go buying stuff like that. Buy it closer to when you're getting ready to use that part so that you have ramifications or a way to, to get your money back, get a refund, whatever the case is. Uh, buying little little trim parts and pieces when you when you find a good deal on a, on a bulk of, say, 57 trim pieces, buy them. Store them up where they're safe and you know you have them and hope that later in a couple years you can find them, which is my case. So I've, I've bought a lot of stuff like that for this car it's it's this car we're, we're 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 trying to figure out we're trying to prioritize the project again what's next what part do we do first what what are we going to do next so we have some problems we're going to fix and you're going to see it in later videos but i just want to give it to you guys while i had this in my head that man i'm doing a whole lot of prioritizing uh you know i, I don't want to suffer and I don't want Ralph to suffer. I don't want my wife and kid to suffer. So you really got to think about where does these project cars fit in our lives? They're a big part of our lives. The wife says, well, that stuff's not a priority. Well, not the top, but to me, it's a priority. Set yourself up to win. We're going to see you guys in the next one. Junk out. Take it easy.